remarks to no longer than three minutes. If you are here representing a group, please identify yourself, the group, and your position in the group. If you are here as an individual, please give us your name and address. This section of public participation will be limited to 15 minutes, and would you please specify the resolution you are referring to in your question. Evelyn Slotgar, 43 Thunderhead Place, 17C. Can you explain how the funds are generated that are being deposited and what the funds will be used for for the two new accounts? Sure. Sure. Um, so the, the first account, the uh, summer savings account, this is part of a new um, piece of the MEA contract. The new contract that was just signed. Uh, employees have the opportunity, those that are paid uh, over the 10 month period, to have a portion of that pay put into a summer savings account, which they would then get back um, at the end of June. Um, so that's the first account, how the uh, funds would go in there. Second is the scholarship fund account. Uh, right now we have our scholarship funds um, detailed uh, uh, with a subsidiary ledger coming with some other funds. It was a recommendation of our auditors to pull those funds out, have them in their own um, separate account. Uh, there's still going to be one scholarship account for the several scholarships that we have, um, but having them isolated is um, addresses a recommendation that the auditor had. Okay, and those are scholarships for students? Yes, they are. Correct, right. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. Um, Good evening, everyone. Uh, just a few things this evening. Uh, the first is, is that our schools are, are really coming together. Um, we're opening up in a few days, first day for students on September 5th. Really looking forward to that. Uh, the second update is uh, the distribution of our laptops at the high school. We've completed three grade levels. Um, a huge shout out to, um, to our technology uh, team who have really done an outstanding job, as well as uh, Mr. Pascal and his team there. It is a very coordinated, well-organized effort um, and seems to be really received well um, by the students. So we have one more grade level. Uh, that'll be tomorrow during the freshman orientation at the end. Um, the third is, is that we're getting set for opening day. Very excited. Um, whether you're a new teacher or you've been around for a while or a new staff member or been around for a while, opening day is opening day, and it's extremely exciting. Um, that will be September 3rd at 8.15 in the auditorium at the high school. The board has been cordially invited um, to attend. If you've not had the opportunity uh, to be there, it is an exciting time um, for our staff. It is a, a celebration of students, um, a celebration of us, and uh, a really great kickoff to the beginning of the school year. Mawa School Foundation will um, fortunately be joining us as well so that they can speak to the staff about um, the grants and, and what that looks like as well. So I hope that all the board members um, can make their way to us. Um, probably get there around 8 o'clock. The parking lot is busy with the entire district staff. So up to you. Um, 8 o'clock, Dr. Moore. Got it. That's 8 sharp. <laughs> I'm 745. Okay. All right. <laughs> Just relax, everybody. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Bleeker, do you have a report for us this evening? No, no report this evening. Thank you. Mr. Fair, do you have a report for us this evening? Yes. Um, I just wanted to report that we uh, just completed our new hire orientation. Uh, we had 30 uh, awesome people. I think uh, this has been the sixth cycle of new hires for me. And um, this has been the most promising cohort thus far. Um, and I feel like it was a really exciting and fun time. And uh, we're excited to start the school year off with them. Um, we just finished our admin retreat, where we worked with all of our administrators and leaders uh, to work on district initiatives and um, getting ready for the school year. So, happy new year. <laughs> <laughs> as, I, as I like to add, that part of the retreat was a collection of food for the students instead of food action. And it was really successful. There were five full bins of food material given to the Senate yep. food action. It was a very good of the administrators for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. And it's a great start to what our theme for the year is, which is hashtag <coughs> Mawa Connects. So our, our goal is to do more of that connecting um, with course content, with each other, with the community, with students and staff. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't have a report for this evening. Um, just looking forward to the new school year. Very excited about it in the building and, and the curriculum going into it and, and our new hires and everything else. And really, really looking forward to it. 
Um, board committee reports. Do we have any board committee reports for this evening? Go ahead, B. Oh, thank you. I just gave it a BFF. Um, last month, at the last board meeting, we, we mentioned our committee, community relations, put out, put forth their our goals, our mission statement. And this past, uh, was it, 23rd, we put together, after a, 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 a summer of going over things, a, um, and your minutes are in front of you, except for, um, Brett doesn't have a copy, you don't have a copy, and I forget who else doesn't have a copy, because they had it, they had received it from you ahead of time. Are the items that we discussed, first of all, I want to thank the administrators, Dr. Schoen, Dennis Fair, for their help and guidance in putting this together. Um, without them, I don't think we would, we would still be spinning our wheels. <clears throat> for, in order for our mission statement to be successful, the board has to buy into some of these activities. For example, back to school night, uh, Mawa Day, the grand opening cut, ribbon cutting of the steam building. The back to school night, what we're asking for is let me backtrack a little bit. The president of the board shall develop a, an activities calendar, a master activities calendar, where you can sign up that you'll be able to attend an event. So if you want to be one, one or two uh, board members who wish to attend Betsy Ross's open house, you'll get a name tag. Now, mine's finally right side up. Unfortunately, um, they got discarded, but for us, you guys, I'll, I'll set that up for you tonight. And they were actually thrown out, but he's going to replace it. I thought they were, so, they were wonderful looking, and I thought, when are we getting ours? <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's what I said. Where are they? Um, you get one when you sign up for something. You sign up for something. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. it's your luck. There you <laughs> go. So, um, all, you, all is required is that you come to the open house, principals will introduce you, stand up, smile, and be available if they have any questions for you. As far as the Bawa Day, uh, Mr. Bleeker is working on it now for me, getting the, all the insurance uh, information together. Uh, and that will entail us having a tent, a table, and two chairs there for board members to be there throughout the day, not the entire day, maybe an hour or two, to be there to answer questions to many of the community members. We're not selling everything. We're going to give trinkets away. And pencils. We said we had pencils or something? We had pens. We had pens. pens. Yeah. Um, so that's another way. Three-color pens. They Pardon? Three oh, yeah. Three colors. Right. Yeah. They're really nice. Um, and then the grand opening of the, of the, of the steam building, that's, you all know it's on September 10th. Uh, the, I talked to the mayor. He said, yeah, I received my invitation. Everything's ready to go. Uh, people are excited about that. And, of course, the sealing of the time capsule, which will be opened in 2049, which marks the 100th anniversary of Mawa District. The Parent Academy, we want to have a... a hmm? Will we be invited back in 2049? I, I hope here. so. I hope no, you'll be late. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be late. <laughs> I'm putting it in the calendar now. I'm here. Thanks, Pete. Anyway, the Parent Academy, we feel, has to have more of a PR push. And we're going to work on that with uh, uh, more, more of a presence on our website, web page, the HSO participation, and an increased enthusiasm for various programs. The coffee with the community, this is something we're going to try. We don't know if it's going to be successful or not, but our first one will be in October. And if, if at which point they said I would be there with Dr. Schoen at 6 o'clock before the meeting night, be there like 6.50 to greet, meet and greet people who may not come, have coffee and have questions. It would change every time. We, it, I think we do what we say once a month. <clears throat> once a month, one or two board members can sign up and be there with your name tag. Um, communication survey monkey. We've noticed a drop off in the number of times parents are opening up uh, for emails. So, Fred Kelpin is going to put together a, a survey monkey together with the superintendent, and they're going to see what parents are comfortable with, how they would prefer to be notified by the, by the Board of Education. Like the, uh, for example, the snow day we got announced last, uh, last week uh, from the superintendent. It was really great. I know you did, but it was like a snow day. <laughs> then we had <laughs> the utilization of, of <clears throat> utilization of Mawa Community News channels 33 and 78. While we do put something out on Thursdays of our meetings on our website or on Facebook, um, 
we will we have now the mayor has allowed us will allow us to take and make a copy to give to the Mawa Committee News to run each after each meeting on a certain date so get used to a, a routine that's going to be on Tuesday morning at 10 to 11 of our meetings so now we've expanded the number of people who will be watching this will be on channels 33 and 78 unedited so we got that done um, we have a district announcement newsletter which we said would come out in November March and June building principals we, we encourage to, to mention successes they've had in their buildings Nothing elaborate, just an informal uh, newsletter. <coughs> this is always happening. Uh, as far as the budget, there was a little little problem with the budget last time, so right now the committee knows to go through the superintendent to decide whether or not we have money in a budget to purchase anything. They're not ever going to buy anything. Um, again, there was a, uh, there was a the, the whole thing can work if we all pitch in. I mean, you, uh, if, if you can make a, a Event, please come. Um, we did have some feedback as far as changes to our uh, mission statement. So we, we, we accepted, uh, we accepted some, and, and, and said the others were so close to what we were asking for. We just sort of put it aside. But those who sent it to us, thank you. Again, the committee worked hard on this all summer. We thank the, the administration for their help, and we hope that we become successful with this thing. Good plan, Peter. Thank, Thank you, Peter. Peter. Thank you. Reached, reached out to me, and I really appreciate that. And and we told you all this. I thought this was great. Yeah, the whole committee. I thought this is really, really interesting stuff to do. That I could get the community more involved. And we hope that it does. And um, since I have set up a calendar, there's nothing on it yet. But I just invited you all to the calendar. So pretty soon I'll be putting on the events. You know, the sporting events, the plays, the things like that. And if you're available, just talk in your name, and we know that we've got that covered. And then there's those gaps, you know, whoever can, can fill it will be able to fill it. So it will just be you know, not, not required to do it, but it would just be, I think, a very nice thing to be there. So thank you to everyone for that. Another committee report? Um, so on behalf of instruction and curriculum, um, we actually had our first meeting of the year uh, today. Um, and uh, a couple things I just wanted to highlight. Number one, obviously, uh, the STEAM building, and I think everyone's super excited and glad to see that it's opening before the first day and it was all done. So congratulations to Lauren, Dennis, Mike, Lisa, the whole team, Kyle, obviously, and Greg, right? Yes. Who really, I mean, tremendous job, really, because it's, I know you guys worked all summer a lot on that. And you look forward to uh, September 10th, uh, the, the grand opening. Uh, of the building, ribbon cutting. Um, the I just wanted to also highlight because Brian Corey came to our meeting to talk about the modified one-to-one -one laptop initiative at Rampo Ridge. I think high school has uh, it does it one way, and I just wanted to highlight that they did make some changes at the Ridge, and I think that's important for parents to know. Um, the main effort of this was to, he said, to build equity between content areas so that there would be a little more equitable distribution. Um, basically, what's different is this year, seventh and eighth graders, um, there's a modified one-to-one. -one. So what that means is um, they pick up their laptop, which is the same one that they would use every day, um, and they would that's assigned to them, um, in their morning homeroom. And um, then in the um, after, at the end of the day, they've created a PM, homeroom, which is like a five-minute homeroom, for those laptops to be returned. Um, and the one shift that they made is the exchange between classes at the Ridge used to be four minutes, and they have now made it three minutes, which um, educator feedback from Ms. Sacone, who's on our committee, was that she thought actually that was um, a good decision because otherwise it's a little extra 60 seconds for there to be issues sometimes in the hall. So, right. Um, and hanging out and so on. So that's how they um, took care of that. So there's five minutes at the end. For sixth graders, um, they will still have the laptops remaining on carts, um, but we've they've increased the number of carts and the number uh, because they've taken some from the high school and number of laptops for their usage. So. 
they thought for the sixth grade, let's see how seventh and eighth goes before they started something similar <coughs> in sixth grade. Um, but anyway, I thought it was just exciting to know that really our district te technologically is coming um, almost you know between seventh and twelfth with access to laptops. I, I think it's that's a great thing, and I look forward to that. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, do you have any other board member remarks or comments on uh, any reports or non-agenda items at this time? Okay. Um, old business. I have a motion to move old business. Ms. Conoco, second by Ms. Cone. Would you please take the call, Mr. Speaker? <clears throat> Ms. Conoco. Yes. Dr. Morthy. Yes. Mr. Wendrickowitz. Yes. Ms. Sacone? Yes. <coughs> Mr. De Silva? Yes. Mr. Gallo? Yes. Mr. Copland? Yes. Mr. Kismarski? Yes. And Ms. Barron? Yes. <coughs> I'd like a motion to proceed on new business 17A through Z. I've got Mr. Wendrickwitz and second by Mr. Gallo. Any comments, questions on any of these? You know, I would just like to, um, as I try to do every time, thank donations. And we had a very generous donation of $5,000 from the Betsy Ross HSO to support the development of the STEAM Center outdoor classroom. So thank you very much, Betsy Ross HSO. It's much appreciated. All right, would you please take a call, please? Ms. Conoco. Yes. Dr. Morthy. Yes. Mr. Wendrickowitz. Yes. Ms. Sacone. Yes. Mr. De Silva. Yes. Mr. Gallo? Yes. Mr. Coughlin? Yes, I'm abstaining on check number 96314. Mr. Kismarski? Yes. And Ms. Barron? Yes. Now I'd like a motion to move on new business A through T. Mr. Coughlin, second by Mr. Winter. Do you have any comments, questions on any of these agenda items? Yes. I want to thank on 18S for improving some uh, volunteers at various schools. I want to thank everyone who's volunteering their time, uh, whether it's an HSO capacity or whatever else they're doing within the school. So uh, a lot of the programs we do uh, cannot be done without volunteers. So thank you everyone who's volunteering their time. Um, and I just wanted to say uh, welcome to all the new hires, but I just wanted to highlight um, 18H because Courtney Valeria actually have known since she was a little girl and so it's nice to see a she's actually one of our neighbors and a neighbor and then a student at Mama High School uh, and then now she's working going to be working as a para so it's nice to see the you know connect the, the sort of the yeah, how it transforms some of these students and they want to come back and work in this district so uh, kudos so thank you. Please. Ms. Conoco. Yes. Dr. Morthy. Yes. Mr. Wendrickowitz. Yes. Ms. Sacone. Yes. Mr. De Silva. Yes. Mr. Gallo. Yes. Mr. Coplin. Yes, but I'm upstate on 18S. Mr. Kazmarski. Yes. And Ms. Barron. Yes. Um, oh, I have this portion of public uh, questions or comments, so this section of public participation will be limited to 15 minutes. May I have a motion to open to the public, Mr. De Silva, second by Dr. Morthy. Okay, so updates on two things. Um, so the parking lot and the um, students exiting out. So apparently, what, I guess the traffic light you were saying that it's not going to be completed until November? That's what the contractors are telling us. There's a shortage of some of the key materials. A shortage of the key materials. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, so when the kids are attempting to exit the parking lot without the traffic light there, the congestion trying to get out, um, as far as the traffic pattern. Will the students be directed to make a left out of the high school parking lot, or will they be uh, told to make a right, go down to the end, and like do the circle under JK to come back out again? I think that's a question for uh, Mr. Pascal to answer better than us. Okay. But we spoke to him before this meeting. We spoke to him in curriculum, and 
And I said, you know, are you going to be concerned about, you know, the traffic pattern with that play? He had no concerns, so. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, I guess that's it. There. You might want to reach out to him directly. No, I will. Yeah. I'll pass him. Okay, thank you. Thank you Please don't pass him. Please don't pass him. Do you have anyone else? Okay, thank you. May I have a motion to close the meeting to the public, Mr. De Silva? Seconded by Mr. Coughlin. And may I have a motion to adjourn? Mr. Chairman, real quick, before yes. we do that, I just want to um, point out so that everybody is aware, our next board meeting on September 11th, we move yes. not at 7 o'clock, it's going to be at 6 o'clock. And the reason we're doing that is because the Township 9-11 Memorial is going to be at 7 o'clock. So we figured if we move our meeting up an hour, that will give everybody the opportunity to attend both uh, the board meeting and the 9-11 uh, Memorial downtown. Thank you for coming Thank you, Rick. Thank, Thank you very much. Uh, now I have a motion to adjourn. Mr. Silva, second by Mr. Gallo, meeting adjourned. Thank you all very much.